headline when we, on the day we turned the Large Hadron Collider on for the first time, um, which was, uh, are we going to die next Wednesday? <laughs> and I thought, I thought it was amusing. I, I've got the, the article here from the mail. I thought you'd be amused to see. Uh, there's actually a serious point to this, actually, which I make afterwards. But first, you can laugh at this journalism. Um, they said that there were two potential problems with the LHC, the problems it might cause for humanity. And this is word for word. They said, for maybe a month, this is the least problematic scenario. For maybe a month, there will be no sign that life is about to come to an abrupt and nasty end for all living things on Earth. Earthquakes will start unexpectedly, alerting geologists that something terrible is amiss. After a few days, these seismic disturbances will reach catastrophic proportions. Cities will be leveled, the oceans will rise and wash in a series of mega tsunamis that will attack the world's coast, killing millions. This is the LHC. <laughs> the fact that the earthquakes are striking at random will be proof that something devastating is afoot. It's a bit of science there. <laughs> the end will come in a disaster on a biblical scale. The earth will start to crack up. Molten lava will wash over the land and the seas will start to boil. Mega hurricanes will level buildings and forests the world over. Mountains will crumble. The earth's crust will continue to disintegrate. The fabric of the planet itself will start to disappear. And from space, our blue and white home will vanish down a plug hole in a flash of light. At least in this scenario, we will have a little time to come to terms with the end. <laughs> However, the second scenario is even worse. There'll be no warming at all. In an instant, in about 1 20th of a second, I don't know where this calculation comes from, in about 1 20th of a second, the entire Earth will vanish. Less than two seconds later, the moon will follow suit. I see what it is. It's, it's probably the light travel time across the... I've just realised that. Now, don't... Clever. Eight minutes later, the sun will be ripped apart, followed by the rest of the planets in the solar system and onwards. A wave of destruction caused by a rent in the fabric of space itself, spreading out from our world at the speed of light. Any extraterrestrials will eventually die too in due course. <laughs> <laughs> but then it goes on. Oh, oh. Oh, the answer to what could possibly cause this is the Large Hadron Collider to be turned on next Wednesday. But it says, then at the end it says, uh, I, I put this to scientists at CERN and my, my uh, proposal was released, this is the exact words, elicited only raised eyebrows and shrugs of derision. There we are. So... My, my point is, though, does this really matter? I mean, there's, you could look at this and say, well, at least science, particle physics was on the...